Hi there, Cancers. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Um, first off, the energy that I'm picking up for you guys is um, I feel like this is a very direction oriented type of a week. Um, I see a lot of crossroads. I see a lot of like, you know, fork in the roads. Do I take path A? Do I take path B? Um, I see you being inundated by decisions and choices. And I see you seeking guidance, it, uh, you know, from other people, internally, even for some of you, as to which path to take. So it's a major kind of like a crossroads type of a week. And um, it's really important that you understand, you know, where you've come from, learn from past cycles, learn from patterns in, in your life from the past. And erring on the side of, you know, taking the path that hasn't been taken before, okay? So it's like reviewing, it's almost like watching your life, um, kind of like as a video playing in front of you, the movie reel, watching it and then figuring out, okay, I did that before and it didn't, you know, give me the outcome that I was hoping for. So this time I'm going to do things differently. So aiming to do things differently, aiming to take a different path, that's going to be very crucial as we navigate the energy for this week. The first card that I have here is the Knight of Coins, the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, once again, I see you kind of like at a standstill in the middle of the road, okay? And you're at a point where obstacles are not really in front of you. It's all about free will. So there's nothing physically restricting you, restraining you. You're not uh, tied down to any specific uh, course. No one is really forcing you to do anything. And I feel like this card indicates stagnation. Wanting to break away from the stagnation, but not knowing how to do so and not and also fearing like being very uh, risk adverse and not wanting to make the decision that will kind of force you out of your comfort zone. The message is linked up with this card here. It indicates a time where there is a lot of um, internal conflict being pulled in different direction. Um, I see a lot of fear. And I'm feeling for many of you, it's like I've worked so hard at it. So I'm, you know, preparing myself to walk down this path. But I've worked so hard and I feel like I've already mastered everything. So walking down this path, does it really contribute anything more? So I feel some of you have worked really hard at a specific project, at a specific thing in your life. And at this point, the, the passion and the joy that you came to it with is no longer there. So you're thinking about taking a different, like deviating from whatever you had planned to take a different course of action. Some of you are contemplating major career changes as well. And uh, some of you, I feel, it's, it's like there has been too much sunk cost. I've invested too much. So if I take a different path, there's a lot of risk and uncertainty associated with it as well. So I feel like you're reassessing the situation and you're reassessing whether or not it is wise to continue on the same path because the passion is no, no longer there. But you've invested so much time and resources and energy that you feel compelled to continue forward. But it's really not in alignment with what your heart wants. So I see this internal conflict playing out. I also feel at this point, it is really important for you to think of life as not so much as a destiny where we're supposed to be, but more as, you know, an experience. Everything that you have been through and everything that, that is laid out in front of you, they all serve as opportunities to learn, to learn new things, to learn more about ourselves, to test our capabilities, and to really get to know ourselves. So don't look at it as, you know, a series of decisions to get me to point A, from point A to point B, but more like the path that meanders and that will allow me to have a lot of stimulating, exciting experiences and allow me to grow as a process. So it's not so much about the destination, it's more about just the experience, the process of going through things and the process of making decisions when we are guided by our heart so that our heart can steer us us in the right direction. 
So I see a lot of indecisiveness coming through for you guys. Um, I feel like you have a vision of what success means to you. And this is based on what other people have told you what success means. This has been based a lot more on, you know, the, the practical reality. You see people on TV, you see people in, you know, magazines, you see people on social media, um, you see people on those TED Talks and they tell you, you know, success is like this, success is like that. But it doesn't really drive in with your vision of success. You want to be emotionally happy with the work that you do. And I feel like for many of you, um, yes, money is important, but I feel like you don't want to be a slave to it. And so you're reassessing what success and material success really means. The second card coming into the picture here, we have the Four of Swords. And <clears throat> I believe it was, um, I believe it was Gemini that got this card in the same position. Okay. So if you have Gemini in your chart, you might want to look at, um, the interpretation for that. But uh, what I'm feeling is being plugged in to too many people, too many people telling you what to do, too many people tell, giving you their ideas, consulting too many people. And now you're just very, very confused because the information that's coming through for other people might not be appropriate for your situation. They are other people. They're not you. They're not living your reality and they're not living your life. So it's very easy as an outsider looking in to tell people what to do, but you're the one living your reality and you're the one that have to, you know, live with the consequences and have to live with the outcomes of your decisions. So you kind of need to center yourself, listen to your heart to make these decisions. What I feel for some of you is there might be some legal issues where you're consulting too many people on there might be a lot of expectations externally from other people coming to you to, you know, um, to play mediator, to be the objective middleman, to assess a situation objectively. And I feel almost like you're being put in a situation where you have to pick sides. You might be caught between two feuding parents, siblings, co-workers, friends even. I see a couple that's arguing and you're caught in the middle. And I also feel like, you know, where does my loyalty lie? So I feel like loyalties are being tested. And I also feel like once again, make these decisions from a space of your own personal integrity, from your own heart, rather than what people expect from you. Okay. The next card is the three of swords. This is a card about harsh words that divide two people. Um, it's like a wedge that drives between two people, separation between yourself and the person that you really care about. And also, um, it signifies to me some type of a breakup as well. Associated with this card is, um, I feel like you're trying to communicate with somebody and you're not getting a response. I feel like the other person has a lot of things that they're assessing in their lives. And the feelings still flow between you and them, but they're at a point where they need to sort out their feelings and they're not able to respond to you the way that you'd hope. I also feel there is an argument between you and another person that's quite significant, like a love relationship partner. And it boils down to the fact that one person expects more from the other person. So there's this uh, perpetual conversation. It, it keeps coming back up. It was uh, talked about last month. It was talked about the month before. And it, every month, it keeps cycling back up. And I feel like it's, it's more about who is doing what in the relationship. Are you doing enough? Is the other person doing enough? And it's like two people who are constantly running in circles, keeping scores with each other. Um, I'm also feeling as well, for some of you, you were trying to manifest a relationship with another person. There's great chemistry. There's really, really strong emotional connection between you and that person. And I also feel like somebody has another person, like a third party. So I see three people. I see three people. Um, and I'm, I'm feeling like 
this is not if you are the third party it's not news to you that the other person is already attached it's not news at all and i feel like you were hoping that they might leave their partner you were hoping that you know things might turn around differently and you were hanging on to the situation because you were hoping it to uh, it will get better for others of you i feel like you're in a relationship with somebody and you might be you might be with somebody else so you might be the one juggling two options and the other person is not willing to let you go because they really feel very strongly about you and i feel like once again you know that crossroads making a decision picking sides and uh walking down one path might negate the other path it might rule out the other possibility so the choices that you're making for this week it is very very important the third card that i have here i'm sorry the fourth card the 9 of wands this person's heart chakra is very open this is somebody that has been through a lot of hardships in his or her life um there's an imagery of the tree so i feel like it's somebody who's a very old soul they've been through a lot of pain a lot of trauma in their past um they're not playing the victim they're not sitting there sulking and you know wallowing in self-pity they get up and they move on with their lives this is coming in i feel as a little bit of a spiritual advice for you to kind of uh break away from it and don't fall victim to it be empowered as a result of everything that you've been through but learning from the past so we don't make the same mistakes the messages associated with this card is to move away from situations that are painful to move away from people that are not appreciative of everything that you have off to offer to move away from situations where you are forced wedged in the middle between two feuding parties and to move away from situations where you might be a third party to reform our actions and our behavior so that they are more in alignment with our higher self kind of like that imagery of the tree the tree faces a lot of adversity like inclement weather severe uh weather and everything that it faces allows its branches to be stronger allow the trunks to fortify itself and allow it to stand upright and and stand tall and so it's sort of like that the imagery of the tree and everything that you have been through creates the person that you are today there were no accidents or you know mistakes but if we find ourselves in the same cycle where we constantly get hurt where we constantly look for the wrong relationship partners or seek people who are not physically or emotionally available to us then we're not really living the lessons we're reliving the karma and reliving um past mistakes so it's really urging you to move forward and i feel like I I just get this message of somebody's not leaving their their marriage. Somebody's not leaving their marriage. For those of you married uh couples um like married in relationships or even, you know, relationships where you are sharing space with another person, I feel like there will be more harmony, there will be more um like the energy is going to be smoothing itself out, but it requires a lot of work from both parties. Not that is impossible, but I feel like it allow it requires a lot of self-awareness from both parties. You have come to your own realization, your own self-awareness where you are thinking about, you know, mistakes you might have made and aiming to do it better. And then the other person might be kind of behind the curve where they are they're not at a point yet where they're reflecting on themselves how they have contributed to the situation to cause the you know um falling out so they're they're still you know at a point where they're blaming you but i feel like sooner or later they're going to come to the realization that it takes two to tangle and that you know you're not all to blame but they're not there just yet So whatever harsh feelings that you've had right now just kind of detach yourself and try to move away from it. And uh when the other person is ready, you will hear from them, okay? The last card that I have here is the 4 of cups. And the 4 of cups 
um, in this depiction, it is greatly about, you know, waiting for love to come in. Where is my soulmate? Where is my one true love? Where's the person that will complete me? Where's the person that I've been longing for? Um, I feel for many of you, there is a long distance relationship here and you're trying to uh, bridge the divide. So the person might not be completely uh, constantly in your vicinity and you know, you're know um, you going out and you're distracting yourself with other options, with even friends, with social engagement and things like that because they're not around and you're waiting for them to come around. And then for others of you, there might have been a recent heartbreak and so you're kind of drowning your sorrows. You're getting out and about and you're trying to have fun, you're trying to forget but I feel like the emotional connections that you are having with other people, it seems like it's a little bit more on the superficial end. Like it's just fun and games, but there's not uh, a lot of substance associated with it. Um, I see some of you going out and having a really good time being the life of the party and having a lot of people around you. But deep down, I see this sense of loneliness, this sense of isolation, like everything is it's on, it's, it's done. Um, under false pretenses like it's just fun you know I just want to be around people but at the end of the day the emotional connections between you and others are not there I'm also feeling as well I'm also feeling as well you might be dealing with a, a, a situation where the other person has a lot of options and you might be just one of the options so please be very careful if this is a um, perpetual thing if this is a, an ongoing cycle if you've seen this before i feel like it's the same energy um, try to remove yourself away from that energy okay cancers i hope the reading is helpful i hope honestly that not a lot of you are dealing with this it seems to me like it's a little bit sad and um, i hope that you are able to look at the options in front of you and take that that path that you haven't taken before okay i feel like it's going to bring a lot more prosperity there's a lot of fear here about venturing out into the unknown and i feel like you kind of need to bite the bullet and just do it okay um i would advise you as well to kind of um listen to your intuition on this and not listen to the advice of other people and especially asking people over and over and over again because they're validating um they're they're not validating what you need to do they're validating what they feel you should do but they're not really living your reality okay so be careful about that best of luck okay cancers take care and um hopefully by next week this energy would have cleared up that you've made some decisions by then i wish you the best okay